And coming correct, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers have traded. This is a shocker with the New England Patriots. They traded a fourth round pick in this week's draft for a seventh round pick and Rob Gronkowski, the tight end for the New England Patriots, the Hall of Famer, soon to be Hall of Fame tight end uh, for New England, who's teamed up with Tom Brady so well over the course of their career. And and let me start by saying this, Robin, and I'm quickly going to give you the mic. We had a bet. Uh, We had a wing bet that the Tampa Bay Buccaneers will make the playoffs. Nothing, you know, we didn't bet Super Bowl or anything like that, but I'm saying they'll make the playoffs. I'm a gentleman, and we made the bet before this news of getting grunk. So if you want to get out of the bet, end the bet, eliminate the bet, I'm going to give you that opportunity. Absolutely not. No way, no how? Actually, I'll double the bet with you. 20 nah, wings. I, what, I, why do, oh, we have, what, we have 10? I thought we had 10 in the drink. Let's do 20. We can do 20. That's fine. 20 in I the was, drink. I, I don't have any interest in doing more than that. But yeah, no, no, 20 no. 20. Fine. I think yeah. we had 10 okay. in the drink. Let's do 20. All right. I'll double. That'll work. So, uh, obviously, you're not, you're not moved by this. Not at all. Is this on? Because I hope they can hear us in Tampa Bay. Again, another desperate move by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I know you haven't made the playoffs in 12 years, but obviously your judgment has been foggy. And now that you have Tom Brady in the fold, everything has turned into old-timers day. What in the world is the Tampa Bay Bucks doing? You know what? They've turned this franchise into a freak show, into a circus. That's what this has turned into now. Come see the old quarterback who's 95 years old. And when he first started playing, they used a real pig. Come see the frat boy tight end who's better at lifting beers to his mouth than catching footballs. And here it is. Ron Gronkowski, Gronk, he ain't the competitor he once was. He walked away from the game and turned it to wrestling. He's not an athlete anymore. His competitive juices are gone. And you shouldn't have to, what in the world, beg somebody and talk them into playing? You can't talk somebody into playing football. You remember Jay Cutler's wife talked him into playing, coming back? It was a disaster. Your heart has to be in it to play football. It is the most, it's the dumbest thing I've ever seen. You can't turn back the clock. Let's go back to Gronk's numbers, if you don't want to believe it. Since 2015, Gronk has averaged 47 catches, 769 yards, and only four touchdowns. Not to mention, he didn't play last year. This is not the guy you want. You had all these other young guns and young things, pieces that you claim you already had to bring back a guy who have basically written off football for pro wrestling. Yes, where there's a script and where you're not going to get hurt, to come back and play football is a mistake. And the last thing, I'm not hoping for this. I'm telling you there's a great chance Gronk will be hurt early on before the halfway point of the season. That's what happens. This is a mistake by Tampa Bay. They've turned into a freak show. They've turned into a circus. Stop it, Rob Parker. Now, don't clap for that madness. That was and right on point. And you're lucky you turned that corny music off because I was going to yell it at the top of my lungs to turn that mess off. I'm the poo-poo king. The only thing dumb was that take. Come on, Rob Parker. That is cra- That is ludicrous. And I like the way that you, again, overstated everything to make it fit your narrative. You know, the last time Tom Brady threw, he, he, when he entered the league, they were using real pigs to throw the football. Real pigskin. Overstatement. A guy that's better at drinking beer than he is at catching footballs. Overstatement. 
Last time I saw Gronk, he was helping them win the AFC Championship, not to mention the Super Bowl. The dude was coming through in the clutch, catching footballs from Tom Brady, not to mention how much great of a blocker he was. And here's the thing. This isn't Michael Jordan coming back to the Washington Wizards at 38 years old. This isn't some old fogey who's done and just misses the game coming back because he doesn't know what else to do. Gronkowski is about to turn 31 years old. He's still young. And this, this time off will do him well because he's always had a problem with staying healthy. Always. Always. His fourth year in the league, he missed half the season. But this time off will gave his body time to recuperate, gave him time to get healthy. And I'm not predicting a Pro Bowl season necessarily. What I'm predicting is it's another weapon. You are you are now in New England, they could focus on Gronkowski, the defense I'm talking about. Because you didn't have many other weapons with him. And he still did damage. Now, I have to worry about Mike Evans. I have to worry about Chris Godwin. I may have to worry about Gronk and another tight end if they want to go to those sets, which they certainly will on occasion. O.J. Howard, Cameron Bray, whoever it is. Oh, my goodness. Gronkowski's going to see less attention than he has throughout his career. And because of that, he will be effective. And guess what? If he's not, if he is old, if he does get hurt again, what'd you lose? Nothing. You still got a very good team. So this was a great move, Rob Parker. You can put on your little circus beat and music. You can make your overstatements. You can do all of that to poo-poo it. But this was a strong move by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers that cannot hurt them in the least bit. It will come back to bite them. And again, it's another situation of them being, I get it. They haven't made the playoffs in 12 years. Tom Brady shows up. So now they're going to give the key to the car, let Tom Brady do what he needs to do to feel good. And forget the team and where they were headed and how young they were, but it's fine. Let's bring in. And Gronk is an old, beat-up 31. There's a reason he wasn't playing. And, again, you watch and see. All the injury problems you've had, it doesn't make any sense. You don't need Gronk. And his numbers haven't been good for years since 2015. So stop, stop living in wrong. the past. No, that's it's not. just straight up wrong. I it is wrong. In 2017, no, he had 69 average, catches for over a thousand yards. Average in the he last average, hold four no, years. Stop it. First of all, he was hurt in 2016. And the you last want four years, missed, I gave you. When he when, missed half, no, the game. because that's You're not part being of him. Fair, Rob yes, Parker. I am. That's part of him being you hurt. You said is he part hasn't been good since 2015. No, I did not. I said he had. I said his averages since 2015. I'm he telling you, 16, he averaged 16 Gronkowski yards. Gronkowski was not on anybody's team or not playing last year because his heart's not in it. His he heart's averaged, not in he, it. No, you know what wasn't in it? His body, because his body was beat up. What don't you understand about that? Football, as you said, is the most brutal sport outside of boxing. And he was beat up. He's, like I said, he's always been injury prone. Keep living he in the past. He retired because he was beat down. Now he's had a chance to rest for a couple of years. And again, maybe he won't be great, but what does it hurt? Even if he's not, it doesn't hurt you. You still stop you living in the past. The other t- it's stop not thinking, living in the it past. It is. When You're he's thinking about Tom Brady and, and Gronk with the Patriots. You're it dreaming. ain't the same you, thing. This is all wishful Go thinking. Go forward. This is, uh, watch and see. This is He will be hurt thinking. at some point. So he won't play well, so and everybody what? will say, well, what do you expect? He had played. And or Cameron Bray. Okay, we'll see. And, and not to mention my two good receivers. You got an old quarterback throwing to a broken down tight end. This is all wishful thinking, and we know know it because you're fudging the numbers. In 2017, he was all pro. 
First team All Pro. He was a Pro Bowler. Average 16 yards. That's why he quit. Per catch. That's why he quit because he was a Pro Bowler. He quit last year, right? He was hurt he was a pro. in 2018. That's and, part and, of and, his and, story. And, That's and part and of his story. Of all people, you shouldn't say you shouldn't mock somebody quitting because he was a Pro Bowler. How about your boy Barry Sanders in Detroit? It happens. How about Calvin Johnson in Detroit? It happens. This was a fine move. Period. The and end. Neither one of and those it may guys not came work back out. and was talked into it. Tom Brady How is living in the past. It? That's what they said. Tom Brady had to talk him into coming back to play. Why Man. in the world would you let somebody talk you into playing? Because deep down play. inside you wanted to play. No, he didn't. That's if he why. wanted to play, he would have played. And even if you don't, like I said, it's not going to hurt the team. It's not going to hurt the team. Let's get to the calls. You're with me? It can't hurt, and it could help greatly getting Gronk. Or you're with Rob. Dumb move, bad bad mistake by Living the Buccaneers. Living in the past. Nick in North Carolina, you're on the Odd Couple, Fox Sports Radio. Hey, guys. How are you doing? What's doing up, good. man? How are you? What's up? Good, good. Hey, I'm not even going to bother getting riled up about what Rob says. He's been a broken record about Tom Brady for the past seven, eight years, so... But I'm going to say I agree definitely with Chris. This this can't hurt. I mean, how can you how can you pass this up? Anytime you have a chance to reunite two guys who uh, created magic on the field on the court, I mean, you you do it. I mean, it's it's not going to hurt. And um, you know, outside of Randy Moss, I mean, Gronkowski has been Brady's most dominant most dominant teammate by far. So I, I absolutely agree with the move. Good call. I I agree. Harry in I Columbus, agree. you're on Ohio. You're on uh in Columbus, Ohio. You're on the hey, high couple up, Fox Sports Radio. Hey, what's just up? a couple weeks ago, I uh, did get the uh, book. So I didn't get a chance to read it yet, but okay. I'm going to read it. Uh, got a few hands up. But I kind of agree with both. As you know, I say I go with Rob because at first I was kind of agreeing with Chris, but it's the point of, you know, that's a roster spot that someone else could have. If, if, if that makes serious? sense. It's kind of like how. That doesn't make sense. He, no, but, but let can me you, say can this. Can you talk, Chris? Chris? Hold on, Chris. Let Golly. me say this because he because and at first I didn't agree with I'm Rob. I'm giving you a chance Rob said to the rethink same thing. your point. <laughs> but Rob said the same thing when uh, when the Cavs. I'm a big Cavs fan. Uh, when they went out and got um, Dwayne Wade and yes. D Rose and all those guys, he said it on the seat. And he's like, "It's the it's the All Star team of 2009." You remember like, that? So. <laughs> yes, that's a completely yes. different. Yes, and thing. what happened? They ran him out of there. D Wade, thank you. Get out of here. That's exactly right, Harry. What year you was that, You can't live in the past. What year was you that? You can't live in the past. Did it hurt him, though? Yes. No, because they had, really? to make, they had to change their entire roster. It was a bad they move. They got rid Dwayne of two Wade. dudes coming off the bench. No, so they had to make moves. They wouldn't have beat. They got to the matter, finals and lost, if it which didn't they would have done anyway. Chris, if it didn't matter, they could have stayed on the team if it didn't matter. It didn't hurt. Yes. They still got That's to exactly. the finals. Exactly. Harry's 100% right. And he just gave you what they call in the business proof of performance. Rob Parker, again, gives you proof of performance. I'm just not talking. I'm giving you examples and telling you when I was First right all, about these things. he gave you the examples. You didn't give it. I don't have to because people listen to what I'm saying and they hold on to that knowledge. And it's even better when people bring back the proof of performance. Mark in Sacramento, you're on the Odd Couple of Fox Sports Radio. What's going on, gentlemen? What's, What's up, up, Mark? <laughs> um, Gronk is a broken down player, Chris. Really, he's broken down. You don't know um, that. Uh, yes, he he's does, broken Chris. down. Hey, man, that dude got aches and pains at 31. I'm 64. I still got pain got from 31 pains trying to heal. Yes. That dude is hurting, man. But here's what I tell you where the mistake was made. They don't have a running game. They could have took that and went and got Leonard Fournette. Then we're talking. That's what they needed. Their running game will be fine. Teams are no, going to have to pay so much attention. No, no, no. No, so much attention to the passing game. Nobody's paying attention to broken down Gronk, please. How many people thought Mostert, Rashad Mostert, was anything? He got cut by six teams. Stop it. They, this time last year, they were saying he was garbage. They didn't make the playoffs with Mustard or whatever his name Mustard? is. Mustard? In, Mustard in, is in what San I'm calling Francisco, them. The one that broke the records in the playoffs? Oh, I thought you were talking about somebody with the box. Proof of performance. That's what I'm talking about. Let's move on. 
Richard in West Virginia, you're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. Hop, proof of performance, P.O.P. Yes. <laughs> when they have, uh, they didn't make any mistake. You, you know it has to be Tom Brady that's behind getting Gronk. And when I heard that Tom Brady was going to them, I said they're going to play in the Super Bowl just because he's there. And with Gronk, that just adds another dimension that... I would say with him, they're going to win the Super Bowl just because they got it. Okay, him. Richard. All right, I'll have what you're having. Make mine a double. Winning the Super Bowl. Stop it. Oh, people this were is the saying typical, that even before. This is the typical uh, uh, <laughs> over go, media OBJ. overhype. Here we go. Overhype. Odell That's why Beckham last Jr. year Richard you called this. You got the nerve to put him in the year, same sentence Richard, as Richard had the nerve to call up here and say the same exact thing about the Browns when they got OBJ. Stop. How that put them <laughs> over the top. And how they went from a million to one in Vegas to 14 to one. I remember all that. You I'm not letting not. it go. You do not. And Richard, don't call here again with that nonsense. Richard, keep calling. You're always welcome. JD in Mississippi, you're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. Good afternoon, guys. Thank y'all so much for letting me on. Yes, sir. Um, I, I got to go with Chris. On I hope this you one. make the most of it. All right. Thank you. <laughs> uh, Chris, I'm with you, brother. Ron's got heart, and uh, he, he's been training through the WWE, and his body's in shape. So I don't think I ain't got no question about his shape, but he's got heart. Anyway, I think what busted that team up was like Kraus with with Chicago. You know, Kraus busted that team up. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I and, think it was more Belichick than Kraus. No, no, no. He said mm-hmm. in Chicago. I think, I think the only thing that I've been wanting to call in for about a week, and hey, we've been talking about Belichick. I think what the the sleeper of all this is with who wants to fill in for Brady. I think Andrew Luck. There ain't nobody talking about him. And I, I think I don't, when, I don't believe that's happening. I mean, I, look, that'd be I, marvelous I, I, for the I, I Patriots. But yeah, I I don't think that Andrew happen. Luck will be back in in Indianapolis before. Wouldn't they have anywhere. his rights? Too? Yes, yeah. that's what yeah. I'm saying. That, yeah. Please, if he does come, and back, they paid him, there. and they gave him his money. No right. way would they yeah, allow that exactly. to happen. That's a good point. Just no way. With Frank Reich, why why wouldn't you even? I mean, and they as got great Phillip as, Rivers yeah. on a one year contract, so I just don't. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, there's no, no way that's, that's they're going to let Andrew Luck go to to New England. No way. Yeah, that's wishful thinking. All right.